what we do in here is we got us some sassafras root. We're gonna cut it up into some small pieces. I'll show you a little what it looks like. If you can tell, you I don't know. But we just pulled up one right out here in the bushes. We're gonna make some sassafras tea. I've already got my water in. I'm gonna cut this up into some smaller pieces. You may have to sharp my knife or cut it up in two months. Said grandma used to do this to get over what they call the winter doldrums. Springtime, it's kind of a tradition. We do a little sassafras tea. Can't get nobody to eat it, drink it, I mean, but me, but it'll turn uh it'll turn the water in there just red, red. I'll show you here in a little bit. We got that opened up enough there though. It don't take a whole lot of it. We'll turn this out on. We're gonna turn it on medium. Now that has the strain. This teapot here has the strainer in it. So you can just put whatever. I make pine needle tea at times. Pine needle tea, we just chop up the the needle, the green needles, put them in there. It's good, got a lot of vitamin C. It's good for you here. Better than orange juice for colds and stuff. But we, uh, I'll mix that, I'll make that and drink it. But uh, I just wanted to show you making sassafras tea. We'll, I'll show you what it looks like here in a little while. Here, it percolating. Keep it on low. Got it in my blue willow saucer. I want you to see the color. Turns red. This is not really red yet. Ah, right. I'm fixing to show you how to make a peach cobbler in a cast iron Dutch oven easy way we got this preheating on here I've already preheated my oven I got it on 350 but what we're gonna do I'm preheating my skillet on this eye right here for my mix because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get me a precisely however much butter that is and I'm gonna melt it in the bottom of this I'm gonna turn that back down low I'm gonna turn it off Turn that back off. We want we want to melt this in here. Good, good, good. All right. We get that butter melted and greased up in that skillet real good. All right. Now what we're gonna do? Is we got these yellow cake mix. Seeing it light and ain't real great. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. Pour about half of that in there. Just get a good thick layer in the bottom of that. And then we just got some cans of sliced peaches. We're gonna pour juice and all right off, off in there. Give it some good flavor. Spread them around in there real good. Got them like a warm in there. Alright. Now what I'm gonna do is I got a cup 
full of sugar. Now that is precisely however much sugar that cup would hold, but I don't know that I'm gonna put it all in there. We're just gonna sift it around in there and sweeten it up a little. We don't wanna overload it. All right, that looks like that's probably enough. Sassafras tea is good too. All right, now I'm gonna put the rest of this yellow cake mix in. Cover the top of them peaches good. Now right now we got one can of peaches and one cake mix. I got enough stuff. If you want to make a bigger one and feed a bunch more folks, you can put two cans of peaches and put two cake mix. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll take our lid. I'm going to show you down in there now what we're looking like. That way you can see. Got our oven preheating. It's done counting down. We're on 357. Now that made a mess right here on the counter. On the stove, I mean. We down to 330. We're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna stick this in there and then we're gonna go stick it in. We fixing to grill some hamburgers and I wanted me a peach cobbler to go with it. Alright. Yeah, that's nice and warm. We're gonna slide that right in there. Just a little while, I'll be ready to go. Show you a little bit about what we're grilling here. While we we just took this asparagus, laid it right here on the grill. That's the best way to do it. And I really like it when mine, when it gets black on there, when it's just almost burnt. But we're gonna shut this lid down. Let that the th thermometer get on up there. Now what I did was I closed my door off there. I want to open this one over here just a little. I don't want to get a lot. I let that air flow through because it shut slam off but if you can see right there there's some cracks in there. It's getting air. I haven't got it completely airtight. Come here my buddy. Come in. He wants to be on camera. He said daddy video man. He said daddy video man. Yeah, we've been out here watching these martins fly. See any right at the moment. See if we see any up here. My gourds. They was just flying a few minutes ago. Don't see any. And there's gourds there. I think I just seen one dip down. Gorge there. Then, oh, I forgot. There's a. House there. Two peach trees. Where's the other one? Right there. Hard to find stuff looking through the camera. We enjoy sitting out here watching them. Usually this guy out here be filled up with them late in the evenings. All right, we're fixing to see if this cobbler here is about ready to pull out of the oven. Gazing romantically into 
I done ate my hamburger. I'm ready for some ice cream and some peach coffee. Let us the Yes, sir, Reed Bob. That's a piece of. Ooh, and I got. Look at that. Look there. Keep it up all night. I'm going to get this camera. I'm going to show you. That right there. That's Pete's Cobbler. That's what it's supposed to look like right there. Hope y'all enjoy my little video there. Make you a peach cobbler like that. We fixing to get us some ice cream dug out. Lop it all in a bowl and put this peach cobbler on one side of it. Gonna be good, good, good. Signing off.